What's going on everybody? Welcome to GMI's World. And today's tutorial is going to be showing you the money play that's needed in order to stop skinny posts. Now, this defense, pretty cover two, is a defense that has taken over Madden for the last, I guess, three years where it's just pretty much a defense where if you play it correctly, the only thing that you have to really worry about with cover two is giving up the middle play, like a deep post and stuff like that, if you don't get enough pressure right away. But with the skinny post and the inside post routes on both sides, because it's in shotgun, it's not only an ace, um, you're going to want to make sure you have vertical hooks. Now, you don't have to pick cover two, but I would recommend putting your linebackers in vertical hooks so that way they can go up the field with the post because they generally follow the post. The only issue is usually with these skinny post uh, plays, they have like the flat routes underneath to like kind of draw down the defenders that will open up those if the guy wants to hit the flat it kind of becomes annoying so you got to know how to like uh you know steer your opponent so what we're going to do is i'm just going to come out in a regular um four three normal i'm going to pick a cover two defense tampa two and then i'm going to go to the play that you know people have been having a lot of issues with we're going to go to uh single back ace and we're going to find skinny post all right let's go ahead and move this ball down a little bit hold up what the what, what, what's happening right here hold up why am i what why wouldn't it let me? Oh, I can't move the ball down because I'm not on offense. All right, so I got to respot the ball. I'm like, yo, why isn't the ball moving? All right, so um, we're going to go and bring the ball back down a little bit to give Aaron Rodgers some space to dot us up. And uh, pretty much what I do, if I'm coming out in cover two and I see, you, you see my cloud flats there? I'm leaving those cloud flats there just to defend, uh, you know, that, that section of the field and come down if they do throw it to the flat routes that's underneath for the skinny post. Now, you want to control the middle of the field. You'll see, do you see the way the vertical hooks play? The vertical hooks play until the uh, the cloud flats take over. So they'll follow the flat routes. You understand what I'm saying? They'll follow the flat routes with Bennett. And who's the other guy? Kendricks underneath. And then the cloud flat kind of, you know, it, it just makes sure that they're not doing anything to the outside immediately. Now, depending on what your opponent is doing, you can do a lot of various things. Like, you see the way that I'm defending the running back? If you wanted to, you could do things like man up that running back by simply going to him. Uh, going to a lineman, pressing X or A up, and then, you know, just where's Montgomery? Uh, R1. So that way he's manned up, right? So what right now, him being manned up, you're rushing three. This is just simply to stop this play. If you have an annoying opponent that's just really raging. Okay, see, when that what just happened right there, when you let the post develop too much, like I explained, that's the weakness of cover two. But let me go back to what I was doing here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to man him up, right? You're just going to go to him, press X or A if you're on the Xbox One, up. On the right on the right stick and then um you know pretty much press the button of the person that you want to man up now we're watching everything and then you'll see okay look he dotted us but you see how the right side the vertical hook stayed there and he tried to play it because you have to decide which way you want to go this play is very very annoying why did he just do that i want to defend the running back all right so that this play is very very annoying so you're going to want to make sure that everybody is covered just so you can get one stop. Because in games like this, when you have an opponent that comes out and he's just a douche, and you see, you see what I'm saying? Like Aaron Rodgers, they're going to keep making him throw it in there. But when you spread the linebackers, they generally cover it because it's a vertical hook. They're going upfield with anything that's, you know, that's there. So that's pretty much what it is. But we're getting dotted, obviously. We could turn those cloud flats into soft squats and see how they play it. We're going to go ahead and check that in a second. But for now, we're just trying to play defense to the best of our ability because we want to show our opponent, look, we can stop it. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn um, the outside guys into soft squats. And that's just simple, um, you know, clicking on the actual defender and pressing to the right on the, um, on the uh, directional pad, on the D-pad. All right, and that'll give them a soft squat. So we're going to see how the soft squat plays it, but I generally leave it in the cloud flat, but I just want to see how they would react to it. Okay, so they leave them alone, and then you as the middle linebacker, you are going to have to pick which post you want to cover. You see what I'm saying? It looks like the soft squat actually covers it better. Um, so we're going to leave them in soft squats over there and just spread the middle, spread the linebackers and have them in the vertical hooks, and then we're going to man up the D end on the running back. Because that pretty much covers all of whatever they're trying to do. Now, you just got to make the proper read. See, okay, I got dotted. That's my read. And it's like at a split second. Me, generally, I will blitz. And, and yo, listen, I'm sending the pressure, bro. Like, guys that watch me stream or if you watch my videos, you know I'm always sending pressure. You're going to have to beat me and I'm going to make the read. But obviously, it's on all Madden and the computer just has no respect for themselves. So they're going to cheat generally. Right there, they throw it to the running back, but we have a manned up. 
Keep in mind, you're still rushing three people. You can blitz them down. You could do a lot of different variations of it. But this is just simply to show you the mechanics to stop it. Um, you generally just want to have vertical hooks on the outside. They're going to run up the field with them. You just have to make sure right there. See, I picked the wrong side. So my vertical hook went down and tried to follow whoever he was following. I don't know what he was doing. He's just doing whatever he wants. Another thing you can do is you can play man-to-man -man coverage. All right, we're going to leave him in the cloud flat for this one right here. But you can play man-to-man -man coverage and press and try to keep them on the line as long as possible. Right there, I don't even know what that guy underneath is doing because my safety is also an idiot. I have no idea. And I would recommend, like, pressing triangle and using the R stick and, and zoning the, um, the safeties inside, but it doesn't really work. They're they still going to go to the outside. Like, you see, like, it just doesn't – they just don't care about what's going on with life. So they don't play any defense. Um, we are going to try man-to-man -man coverage in a second. One way or the other, we're going to be able to show the opponent because generally all you want to do is show them that you can stop it. So we're going to just uh, audible to cover two man right here, and then we're going to press them with our triangle down or Y and down, and then we're going to see we're man-to-man, -man, so we have the running back, and we're going to see how you know we actually can try to stop this. Keep in mind, don't be scared to adjust during the play. You don't want to keep giving him the same look because now we're sending four, but he beat the press. You see what I'm saying? He beat the press. That's the only reason that that got open. What you could do is also when you go to man coverage, when you hit the hot route, you audible to the man coverage, you could change those guys in the soft squats, all right, and then still make it look like it's man-to-man -man after you picked it once. You know what I'm saying? Just to, just to change it up to make your opponent – you know, not understand exactly what's going on. You don't want to keep giving them the same look. So now you'll see that everybody in the middle, you see how I'm taking care of the middle? That was supposed to be my guy underneath. So if I would have probably manned up the running back, it would have been a different scenario. Now, um, what we're going to do is we're in two men under. We're going to blitz Gideon, okay? So that means that pretty much I was supposed to try to get to man up the, um, the other end. We're not going to man him up or anything. We're just going to leave that soft squat. But the, if he's running that outside flat route, he should be, the, the soft squad should be able to be in that area to help with him because we don't have a man cover him anymore. And then we're going to try to stay over here. So we set more pressure. And these are the things that will happen. You'll develop other openings. So because of the way that I just did that, this will probably be the better way. We change it to man, right? We're going to blitz him and we're going to man up the running back. So we don't have to stay with the running back anymore. We're going to just depend on our linemen and we're going to stay to the left side. And we're going to just try to go ahead and press and see what happens. We're gonna press them, we're sending five now. Well, we're gonna send four, but we're blitzing that guy, and then we're gonna see, the flat will be open, or that, okay, or roads. I guess the road isn't closed like it was, like, you know, Minnesota Vikings on Twitter tweeting out the roads closed, but they're not. But I'm just trying to show you different variations of how you could maintain it. But ultimately, you're gonna to have to make sure that initially, even if you press them down, right? You could press them down with the cloud flat, make it look like man, and just have them in the cloud flat. Depending on how your vertical hooks play is very, very important because they if they play stupid, okay, that was supposed to be a pick, but he dropped it anyway because I wasn't expecting Aaron Rodgers to throw that. It looked like it was going to be a Stevie. Um, but that's pretty much what you do when you press them down now with the cloud flat, and then while they press with the cloud flat, let's change it to soft squats. Let's see how that reacts, and that's how you're going to want to do it. But the vertical hook gives you time before the post route actually develops. You could run cover three as well, but cover three is also dangerous. You see what I'm saying? He's going to have to dump it down because the way the coverage is, it is the way it is. What you can also do, because what happens is your opponent might do annoying things like playmaker the running back. I know you guys will be like, yo, but what if he playmakers it? Um, you could leave a spy there, right? And the spy is just simply clicking on him and pressing to the, uh, the left on the right analog stick, making him a spy. And then you could just sit here. You know, you're still doing the same things. You're waiting for him to try to dot you over the middle. Because, you know, some guys are psychopaths. They're going to keep run, uh, running the same play. They don't care until you stop it. So now you wait there. The spy should take care of that. And then you can send the spy by clicking in on the right stick and stuff like that. And that completely, you can see how they played it differently. And that stopped it a little bit um, by just doing the spy and then pressing, having the soft squats. But there's so many different ways to, to stop this play. Like I said, primarily for me, I'm sending heat every time. So they don't really have the time to do all this. Like, yeah, let me see. What should I do here? Hmm. You know, they don't have time for all that. Like, I'm, I'm sending dude. Like, I don't care. You're going to beat me. You're going to beat me. But I'm sending pressure every play. I don't care. So this, you can see now, there's really nothing he can do when, you, you know, you come down, you press with the soft squat. They may think it's man. Actually play man sometimes and see what happens. You have to outsmart. Oh, oh, oh. He threw a Stevie right there. 
He threw a CD. I was too busy looking down. That was supposed to be a pick. And usually you'll be able to lurk that. You'll definitely be able to lurk that, man. That 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 was supposed to be a lurk right there. I thought I had it. They gave me the animation to catch it, but it was too late. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I would switch it between man and zones just so that sometimes when you press them, you hold them at the line. You know what I'm saying? That's the whole objective. You want to hold them at the line so that they don't know what's going on. That That's the biggest thing you want to do. And then you just stay with the players. Like right there, they come back. But you're not really expecting ridiculousness like that to happen. And also, I have a con – was that guy contained? Hold on. Yeah, I think he's contained on that. All right, so we're going to just go ahead and re-blitz him down so that he's not containing and see how this happens. And now we're in man-to-man, -man, and we're going to see how that happens because he's having way too much time. So how our whole objective now is the running back. So let's see how they play. He should try to throw it up here. Jump up. Let him go. All right, and see, lurks like that is why you would need an Anthony Barr, you know, 6'5", or that type of speed if you're playing Mutt and stuff like that. But this play is generally um, very easy to stop once you start to see what your opponent is inclined to do. If he's a psycho that likes to run this every play, maybe you start sending pressure. Maybe you, you know, you send a linebacker off the edge. You fake blitz him. You do different things. That's the only way that you're going to be able to win these games. You're going to have to make sure that you're able to adjust on the go you figure out ways, you know, man-to-man, -man, zone, whatever. Leave a spy sometimes. Those are the those are keys. Those are key plays into becoming a better Madden player and understanding. You're going to have to understand your quick routes. How do I turn this guy into this zone? What zone is this? What zone is that? You're going to have to sit there, press triangle or Y, and see the available ones. Right there, Harrison Smith, you just got a team of the week, and you still can't play D. Like, what, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, what are you really doing out there? Are you going to play D today? Like, let's go. Um... So that's pretty much where we are right there. That's how you stop the skinny post. Um, I've showed you these are coverage sacks. Um, if you start blitzing, that's more advanced. If you want to start with the blitzing aspect of it. So that's something that you're going to have to want to, um, you know, I could put out videos with various blitzes and stuff like that, but I don't want to make it complicated. Sometimes you can just understand that once you stop your opponent and they know that you know how to stop it, they'll change it. And that's the objective, to make them adjust what they want to do. Some guys want to come out and just keep running the same play the entire game. They, they just don't care. Um, some guys are going to adjust play to play. Uh, see, they gave me the, uh, the, the, the stretch Armstrong animation when I was going for the pick. But this is pretty much what you would do. Make sure you have those vertical hooks in. You could change in the soft squats if you like. There are a lot of blitzing formations that have soft squats in it. So you could try to press that and run it. The soft squat will do a very good job of helping out with the skinny post as well. Sometimes they'll just man up on them. And just run up there and just pick it. You know what I'm saying? I, I've done that as well. Um, but usually they just man them up on streaks. So it's not, I'm not going to say it always happens, but it does. All right? So hopefully this has helped whoever requested it. I'm going to get to as many as I can. Definitely share, subscribe. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. We got some more head-to-head -head action coming soon. I'll see you guys next time, man. One love.